this is Chuck Geekus with Yo Chicago, and I'm here with Nicholas Apasto from the Apasto Group, Cobalt Banker. Nicholas, we are where? Well, right now, Chuck, we are at Four Farthings, one of my favorite neighborhood spots. Chicago is a city of neighborhoods, and this is the neighborhood that I grew up in. One of the best things about this part of town, this neighborhood, is these little types of shops and restaurants that give it the character that make it so special. So I'm here right now at Four Farthings. It's been around forever. This is John Corey. This is his place. So. Uh, John, how long have you been involved here with the... Uh... Uh, we bought it about uh, 15 months ago and uh, we bought it from John and Bill Nordham. did a great job creating what everyone loves here in Lincoln mm -hmm. Park and we've uh, given it a little love. Uh, sure. Added some things that uh, I think the neighbors have liked and we've had positive response. Yeah, and one of the great things about your restaurant is that you have the wonderful outdoor seating that faces the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it's it's great to have it, but uh, how many, how much, how much of the year can you really use it? Well, we're squeezing every drop we can, and we'll go through uh, the early part of November if lucky. Mm -hmm. Last year we were very lucky. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get everything we can. Well, today is a spectacular day for us. Fantastic day. This is just, this is a neighborhood bar. It's also a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And you see lots of families coming in here. So, you've done a good job of connecting with the neighbors. I think that's great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. a lot of families come in. We have our frequent diner program, of course, which has helped tremendously and bring repeat business in. And a lot of people, like you said, like to bring their children in and, you know, their children's children. And it's a place like, as you know, sure. you can grow up with and keep coming back to. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Oh, too much. Probably, probably the uh, pecan crusted pork chops have to be my favorite. But pecan crusted pork chops sounds pretty good. Well, it's delicious, and we, as you know, those who have been here, we give uh, uh, healthy portions. Mm -hmm. um, but we have some new items that we've added, and one of my favorites of those is the Thai chicken. Oh, okay. It's delicious. So it's uh, cool. it's uh, it's becoming a, a favorite very quickly. So. Excellent. Have you ever had any celebrities pop in here? Oh yeah. Uh, well, relative to Chicago, local celebrities. Uh, we have uh, Rod Majors comes in a lot. To Richard Roper. Mm -hmm. um, I think Tim Meadows was here the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he lives just on the block too. He does. And uh, we had a guy, oh, the guy who does dime. Dives and dry, diners and dives. Oh, and um, the guy, was, guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. He came in here, mm -hmm. and he That's actually, fun. yeah, I actually had him try the wings, and he pulled our chef out and uh, shook his hand and took a picture with him. He said they were the best <laughs> wings he's had. Oh, so great! Our grilled, our grilled chicken wings are hard to beat. Well, this is a beautiful spot here. This building looks like a historic landmark. It is. Uh, the building itself is uh, 1906, and it's been in a lot of things. But uh, all the wood you're seeing in here is uh, from the Kimberly Clark mansion. And oh, no it was, kidding. It's hundreds of years old. And when John and Bill Nordham originally built this bar in 1981, they had uh, brought all the wood in, and they had some carpenters actually living here. Huh. And creating everything you see, the paneling is, is, is the same. The bar was created from the wood. As I stated, there were some carpenters living here, creating all this woodwork you see from the Kimberly Clark Mansion that was up in Wisconsin. And uh, the paneling is original paneling, but the doors were hand cut. The tables that fold down, the beveled glass was all handmade by the carpenters. Um, back in uh, 81 when they created it. And the ceiling itself is the original tin seal. I heard a rumor, a local rumor has it that uh, Roger Weaver was living in my coach house behind the, the bar. That's true. Uh, it's, it's occupied by uh, Richard Harris right now, one of our neighbors, mm -hmm. and uh, Roger Eber did live there um, and sold to them. I don't know the year but he sold it to them and they've turned it into a uh, coffee shop uh, studio mm -hmm. um, and in the coffee shop there. That back room used to be a cobbler shop and the dining room used to be an apothecary and then a bookstore. Oh, no kidding. So all this has changed over the years. The building itself, 1906. What it was prior to 1963 is a, is a gap in the history that I don't have. But about 63, the bar was created here. And it was called Four Farthings, which is the outer boundaries of the Shire, if you read The Hobbit, the Four Far Things. Or it's also 
a quarter shilling uh, is, is a farthing. This is John Corey, a friendly neighbor and a local bar owner and restaurant owner at the Four Farthings here in Lincoln Park in Chicago. We're talking with him right now about one of my favorite spots in the city of Chicago. Thanks. So, yeah.